pom-poms she back in the day was very cheerleader like at one point in time yes just because she doesn't have the pom-poms anymore I mean, she's not cheerleader melissa still i didn't see pom-poms with zoe lucas either so she ain't much of a cheerleader in my eyes her claims of being a cheerleader were not backed up by the proper accessories at all yes I saw these two on the street, each one is equally as likely as the other to be a cheerleader. <laughs> but they are pro wrestlers and what counts, right? So, yeah. And somebody just tried to get a whoop, there it is, chat going. Failed miserably. So Zoe Lucas doesn't look the least bit intimidated here. Which is admirable of her. Maybe she didn't do. Mistake. Maybe she didn't do her homework. I mean, Zoe Lucas has had a tour of stardom, and Melissa is the United States representative for stardom. Right. So I'm sure Julie Melissa is very familiar with the work of Zoe Lucas, and in theory, Zoe Lucas should be familiar with Melissa. Absolutely. Not I mean, just because of the stardom connection, but because of who she is. Because she's cheerleader Melissa. And, been wrestling for what, 17 years ish by now? Lock up Melissa with the height advantage and of course the experience advantage. But Zoe Lucas, a very, very skilled. She claimed she was the best cheerleader though, like not best wrestler, right? No, the, best cheerleader. Yes. So I expect a cheer off between these She two. said she was the best that England has to offer, but did not specify wrestlers, so yes. perhaps the best cheerleader. Or maker of cupcakes, I don't know. Candice LeRae will be here tomorrow to take issue with that. Waste lock here. If you're lucky, Zoe Lucas does bring cupcakes to the ring with her. <laughs> um, she once failed to offer me one. So I had to steal it from the child she gave it to. Melissa just proved that she's the better wrestler of the two. <laughs> but we don't, we don't have an answer to the cheerleader question Yeah, yet. I know. Yeah. 
the uh, were, did, did, have you seen any? Did you see the group photo from the Norwich seminar class? Yes. You know, so there were children in that similar seminar yes. class. Yes. Yes, it always throws me for a bit of a loop. <laughs> but yes, the Bellatrix W A W like, school does have a, a like one day on the weekends where where young kids can actually you know with proper parents' permission and all. Start training to be a pro wrestler, and there—I mean, there was legit like is. some 11-year-olds that had better basics it's, than some it's indie wrestlers. Like, like, I don't know the exact stats on some of you guys, but if you told me she's 21 years old, she started training when she was 12, yeah, that could be legit. Yeah, that could be legit. No, I mean, skilled 11-year-olds yeah. is amazing. Because no matter the age, they're still being trained yeah. by the knights. Right. And they're still like they're still getting this training. I'm like that 10-year-old you got there. Great chain wrestling. Tying up the legs, looking for the condo clutch. She could turn her turn her over here. Lucas trying to fight it off. Remember when Mark Briscoe had years when he couldn't wrestle at certain places? Yes, had to wear masks. The venue? Yeah. So I wonder if that that comes up with the fourteen year old. <laughs> now apparently it's fine. I mean they're not they're not wrestling on the show. So they're just training. I mean Japan starts them young too. So maybe yeah, they're as, doing as, it wrong. as Jim Cornette pointed out this Kenny Omega match one time. On, you know. Reaching for the ropes. Hugging that bottom rope. I want to find someone who started training when she was 102. <laughs> Just she made it over the first century yes. and she decided to do it. <laughs> Melissa giving her a little room. Well, the referee trying to make sure that Zoe Lucas has a little room, but. Maybe playing a little bit of possum right there, sending Melissa headfirst oh. into the second turnbuckle. And Lucas all over Melissa right there. You know, there's a couple guys in that seminar as well who's open to all genders to right. learn from Mercedes Martinez and Medusa that weekend. Um, and one of the guys that was in the seminar Previously, several years ago, attended Shimmer at the age of 13, 14, flew from Italy to be a wow. fan, and was like, I can learn from Mercedes Martinez in a seminar. I'm sorry, where do I sign? And he's now like a very skilled 20 something independent wrestler in Europe. You may have missed that, but when she was choking Melissa in the corner, we did see a bit of like a cheerleader type. Arm so there was waving. a bit of cheering, yes. but still not a cheer off. We need a cheer battle during the course of, if not this match, maybe later we could film it as a bonus feature on the Blu ray. I want a cheer battle, I want a rap battle, I want every kind of battle we can get. I want some thumb wrestling. <laughs> Melissa, back in control. Whoa! Splits to get out of harm's way. Melissa all the way over the top to the floor. Got out of the way and tripped her up. And these fans are willing Melissa to get back up. Because the thing about Melissa is she's she's never been the nicest to the fans here in the Eagles Club. But they respect her ability. Exactly. She's always been, time and again, one of, if not the most respected members of the Shimmer Rossler, no matter what, what her personality was for the fans here. When, when given the choice of the new girl who just insulted everybody, like every, or like cheerleader Melissa, they're going to get behind Melissa without a doubt. Um, Zoe Lucas, be careful on the outside with Melissa, though. Yes, those are barricades. She has this thing that she but, but, but right now, Zoe is the one with Melissa. Tied up in the barricade and dishing out the punishments. And now just choking her. But she has to be careful because this could end in a count out. Rolling in to break the count. And we don't count in metric here. In the the numbers are still the same. Ooh. Another big forearm. Melissa giving it back to her. Chop. Hilda's not even here yet to be taking pictures. They're going to be bruised before tomorrow morning. Into the barricade, back first 
Go Zoe. And now Melissa. Oh no, she's got the flag. Don't disrespect the flag. Zoe already kind of disrespected the country. She just wear it as a cape to come out here. I'm not really sure what the rules are on that. Oh no. Oh well, no. Welcome oh. to the Eagles Club, Zoe Locus. And this is what the barricade looks like. Well, we saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> and now Melissa going to, to fold the flag oh, no. respectfully oh. for Zoe. I don't know what's worse, what Melissa just did to the flag, or Zoe just like insulting everybody, representing the country poorly. Well, she also said that she's the best that England has to offer. That she's insulted the entire their <laughs> nation of wrestlers as well. Yes. Serena right. Knight is here, by the way. Probably listening I mean, to we're everything a little, said. We're a little light on on UK representation this set of taping. Maybe she figured that one out and thought. Ooh, she's not going to get anyone directly after and forgot about Saraya Knight. Right, yeah, she is here. Oh! And Melissa pounding down across the back now. Feel pain, we go for the air raid crash. I think so. Trying to fight it off is Zoe kicking her legs, going for sunset flip. Oh, no! Melissa with hands full of hair and perhaps some ears. Pulls her back up. Forearm shot. Oh, big chop. Chops and forearms in combination. Now all the way across the ring, Luke is getting some distance. Off the ropes now. Ooh. Running kick to the chest. And splits leg drop. No. Only two. Solid combination of maneuvers right there from Zoe Lucas here in her Eagles Club debut. And actually, technically her Rise debut. She did, again, she did win the uh, opportunity to be brought here to the United States in the seminar, but she was not a part of the Rise Store Live event. Maybe an inverted DDT, perhaps, but Melissa fights her way free. Air raid crash. No. The forearm from Lucas, off the ropes. Slow and drop. <laughs> Only two. <laughs> and Melissa has it by the hair. Hair and, and probably some ears and stuff too. A couple ears. Going for the air raid crash once again. Can she get it this time? Lucas trying to fight it off again, trying to Wiggle her way free. She does slap across the face. That's just disrespectful more than anything else. Go for the roll up. up. Only two, or one actually. Both women back up. Air raid. Hooks her for it. Can she get it this time though? And the three count. <laughs> Your American winner, former two-time Shimmer champion cheerleader Melissa. I never knew cheerleader Melissa was so patriotic, but there we are.